Okay, boys and girls, are you ready for some more Azure Cognitive Services? I sure as hell am. So anyways, so Thursday here in Asheville, North Carolina at uh, Silicon Dojo, we're going to be having a class on text analytics. So these are Azure Cognitive Services basically using their AI to do all kinds of fancy cool things. What we're going to be working on is text analytics, basically trying to pull out valuable information from text. Now why this is really amazing in the modern world is if you combine this with things like uh, their speech recognition service, Basically, you can have somebody talk, that speech can be turned into text, and then you can analyze a text. So when you see text analytics, it's just not text, right? Anything that can be turned into text can then be analyzed. So, uh, oh, what do I have here? So I have this little opinion script. Uh, so basically, I ripped this off of the Microsoft uh, site. Uh, and so if you make a statement, so it'll pull a statement in, um, and then it will try to give you a value uh, for the opinion in there, basically a positive or a negative. So I really like the food, comma, but the staff were nasty. So think about this in like a recommendation engine. If you want to get a better idea of what people like or what people dislike if you are the owner uh, if you can connect to like a Yelp API pull in all of the different reviews uh, you might be able to find out something interesting now one of the things that I will say if you are going to be dealing with this uh, the, this text uh, an analytics is um, it doesn't deal well with sentences with commas if you have a comma in the sentence um, this will all turn into a positive, basically, for some reason. What I found is essentially anytime there's a comma, turn these into individual sentences, and then Azure is much better with dealing with individual sentences. But anyways, so I can go here, I can click the run, I can do this, and so it'll come out and it will give me the results in a second. There we go. So if we go and take a look at this, um, uh, so we go. So uh, document uh, uh, sentiment is a mixed. I really like the food. So sentiment is positive, gives me a high score there. Positive for the food, gives me a high score there. Says liked, whatever. Uh, but the staff were nasty. So negative. That's a negative there. And there's a negative for the staff. So if you're trying to trying to figure out, um, you know what what people like or dislike about your product or service, this might be a very easy way to pull out that information. Now, one of the other things I'm, I'm playing around with, and this is really cool. <laughs> this is, what is a personally identifiable information? So basically with their service, it can pull out all the personally identifiable information in text, um, again, to try to uh, give it, to, to present that to you in possibly a better fashion or to do something like dump this into a database. So imagine like with this, right? Let's say that this was a voicemail. Let's say I called in to your store or to your company, I left a voicemail. The voicemail system transcribed the voicemail into text. And then from there, I can have Azure Cognitive Services basically scan through that text and try to pull out the valuable information. So my name is Bob Bowman. I'm calling from this phone number. My service has been down for three hours. Oops. Service has been down for three hours. My address is 196 Main Street, Asheville, North Carolina, 28801. Please call me ASAP or me, email me at bob at bob.com. So basically, I can just go, I can hit this, I can run this, and then this will pull out a lot of the information, right? So it goes through here. It actually shows me all the information that it pulled out. So it says, okay, entity. So Bob Bowman. So the name. So this is a person. So basically now that is a variable value. So I could plug that into a database or I could do something else with it. Uh, entity. Here's this phone number. What is it? It is a phone number. So again, I could plug that into a database. Uh, three hours. It says, it says it's a date time. Uh, the address, 196 Main Street, Asheville, North Carolina, 28801. It tells me that, that that's the address. So again, think about things like routing. So let's say in the modern world with platforms, there are a lot of companies out there that basically are just kind of like a lead generation company. So people call into them for plumbing or carpentry services or house cleaning cleaning services or whatever else, that company doesn't actually provide the service. What they do is they then route uh, that contact to the appropriate person. So this is like literally, it's telling me what the uh, the city is and it's telling me what the state is and it's even telling me what the, the zip code is. So I can have an auto routing system 
basically to route this message uh, to whatever uh, person is most appropriate to get that message. Uh, ASAP it gives me, and then bob at bob.com so that I can now spam them forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> hey, you know. I just show you what's possible. I'm not here to tell you what's morally or ethically right. So anyways, uh, this is what I've been playing around with today. Uh, there are a few more interesting things you can do with this text analysis. And uh, we'll be having, again, here in Sil uh, at Silicon Dojo Nashville, we'll be having a full class on this on Thursday. And then we will have the video class of this show up next Monday. So if you have not met with Azure Cognitive Services, again, again, I don't know how big the bezel size is, but I still think this crap is amazeballs.